In the session of Unity today, we're going to look at making images as textures and how we can use those images to make materials so we can skin game objects to give them more realistic properties. So let's get underway and start a new project. And once you've got a new project open, we'll be ready to begin. Remember once you've entered in, go up to Window, go down to Layouts and make sure you hit Default. This way it'll reset back to the basic layout so we're all sharing the same environment and it'll make your building a lot easier. So the first thing we want to do is actually place an object on the stage. So I'm going to go up to the game object, I'm going to get a 3D and I'm going to grab a cube. So this is our basic cube, we're going to sort of stretch it out and make some changes to it. So we're just going to make it a little longer, wider okay now I'm just going to click on my main camera and you can actually see that all we're seeing at the moment is the side on because that's the way the camera is facing at the moment so I'm going to select my cube I'm going to right mouse click that and rename it I'm going to call it a wall so under our hierarchy we can actually give objects proper names and in this case here a wall and therefore the game objects can actually have meaning so once we've done that I want to transform this object so I'm just going to click on the free one just click on the little arm move it around click on the main camera again I can see a preview down here if I want to see the actual preview I can click on play I can see my wall but what I want to do is see the end of the wall there as well so I'm just going to click back click on here just slide it back a little bit more and now I can see the edge of the wall. To make your life easy, if you want to set it up by typing in 000 and putting in some rough coordinates like 0, 47, 0, 1, 2 and 9, it will get it into the roughly the same position as well. So once we've done that, we've got a basic object. So what we want to do now is actually apply an image as a texture to this. To do this, we need to create some materials. So we're going to go down and go new folder. And we're just going to call it materials. I'm going to also create a new folder as well called images. Now in my in my materials folder, I want to create a new material. So we need to give it a name. And I'm going to call this wall 01. And this gives us the ability now to create texture for this wall. And rather than just being a color or its default grayscale, we can actually create something a little bit more exciting. Well, to do this, we need to first of all is actually go find some objects. So what we're going to do is head out into our browser, into Google. And when you're looking for textures, you want to find ones that are seamless. Seamless textures will, will be able to be repeated without actually seeing a join. So if we're doing a Google search, we actually want to look for things that are like seamless textures and walls or something like repeating is another good word to look for as well. So I'm just going to go into images and then I've got all the objects here. So you can actually go through and find a wall that you're happy with. So this one here, I'm going to right mouse click that and I'm going to save the image to my desktop into a folder. So this is grey wall. Now if you want to find some bricks, you can also do that. So there's always a good, if you're building a house or something like that, you can find brick walls. And it's a good idea to collect these sort of objects as you go along and store them somewhere. So next time you need them again, they're available. So if you're looking at doing paths or terrains, it's a really good idea to collect objects as you go. Another one you could look at is wood, or you could look for logs. So if you're trying to build a log cabin, these sorts of ones would work really well as well. So let's just take one of these. Right mouse click. Save image as. I'm just going to call this one log01. Now once you've got those, they're now residing in a folder on my desktop. Now we've got an images folder here. So I'm just going to bring up my finder. And in the textures folder, you'll actually see the textures that are there. And what I want to bring down is log, grey wall, and brick wall. 
and I'm just going to drop them into that folder that's called images. Now these are a part of my asset list. So I've got a material, I've got my images. So now what I want to do is associate one of those images with this material here. Now to do this, we need to head up and change standard and head down and we're going to pick diffuse. There are some other things in here that you can pick as well, but you can experiment with those in your own time. But at the moment, we're just going to use diffuse. And once we've selected that, we now have some different options. We can then click on select, so we can still have a main color. We've got tiling and offset. So the tiling does how many in the X, how many in the Y, and the offset is if you need a border around them. I'm just going to come over here and click on select because I want to use a texture rather than a color. So I'm going to go select. You notice now that those images that I've had have come up in my assets panel. So I'm just going to pick the gray wall and you can see that the wall now is skinned. And just click down here again. I'm going to select the wall out of my hierarchy and select the object. I'm just going to drag that across and drop it in the bottom here. Now the wall's actually reskinned. So when I hit play now, you'll actually see the wall with it's skinning. If I wanted to change it to be a log cabin, remember to stop the play, otherwise any changes you make won't work. So I'm just gonna create a new material. So that way I can keep the materials. Log wall. Once again, go up to standard, change that to, the, um, to diffuse. Select the image. Click the wall. Drop it in there, hit play. Now I've got a log wall. Now you can use images as textures and creating materials. You know how now to download and import the materials into your Unity environment and also create multiple materials that you can easily skin objects with. So if you found this tutorial useful, give it a like and subscribe and also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Unity tutorials.